Just about everyone knows about the famous Zippo lighters manufactured in Bradford, but they may not know about the man who started the company back in the early 1930s. Yeah, his name is George. He died in 1978, but current employees still talk about him with the utmost respect. Mm -hmm. Our John Last tells us why in this edition of The Last Word. How much do we know about the founder of the company for which we work? How much respect and admiration do we have for that person? Well, here in Bradford at the Zippo Manufacturing Company, the answer is a lot. Zippo is honoring its founder, George Blaisdell, with a celebration that goes all month long. Blaisdell invented the windproof lighter. Marketing experts currently working for Zippo say when it comes to marketing, their founder was ahead of his time, especially by naming his company Zippo, which is about as catchy a name as you can get. There's a long list of things that he did uh, that really um, you know, were, were brilliant marketing ideas at the time. You wouldn't think Blaisdell was so clever. He had a promise. From the very beginning, each lighter Zippo sells has a lifetime guarantee. If any lighter fails to work, the company fixes it for free. That does present an interesting dilemma. How do you convince someone else to buy another lighter when they have something that will last a lifetime? Blaisdell knew that decorated lighters would appeal to the buying public. He sold 500 lighters to the Kendall Refining Company in the mid-1930s for Kendall to use for advertising. Other companies soon wanted their own design on a lighter. They still do. Some of those designs have become big collector's items. Blaisdell knew from the start collectors would be a big part of his business. So about a third of the lighters that we sell never get filled, never get lit. George Blaisdell is no longer with us, but his company with the lifetime guarantee remains McKean County's number one employer. His charitable foundation still helps many people in the Bradford area. The people of this community admire George Blaisdell so much, there's a school named after him. With the last word in Bradford, John Last, Erie News Now.